my guest today, Chad Harry. Hey, hey how are you? Welcome to Heart to Heart with Saima. I'm doing how are, awesome. how are you doing? I'm good. It's a pleasure to be here. It's always a pleasure to to uh, to talk to you, to go into those uh, deep conversations with you. And um, as always, the pleasure is mine. It's my honor to have you here. Um, Chad, uh, uh, you were, um, you did go through a surgery recently. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I went through two surgeries, actually. Major um, surgeries. I had two many three months. Both of them were surprises. And I almost died twice. Oh, wow. So I'm really good being here right now okay um yeah. so uh, i think you're doing a whole lot better and um, mm -hmm. i'm 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 glad you're here um, let you uh share about your life so here you go well hey everybody um so since we're talking about making it through stuff. Let's talk about how this year's kind of gone. Um, everybody's had a tough time for 2020. It has been frustrating for some. Um, depression and anxiety causing for others. It has been extreme and horrible for a lot of people. But even in the midst of that, it's, it's the anxiety, also been a year depression that it causes. All you see is the anger and the hurt. Over time and with help, you know, thank God for therapy. I started to see more than just that one bad moment. It's easy for the weight of that bad moment to become so huge, it outweighs all of the good. I still had two amazing, awesome years. I was that dad that took 15,000 pictures every day and, and videotaped every single thing he did as if it was the most, as if he was the first kid to ever walk and, and say, right. You, yeah. right. you know, um, I was that dad. That's what, and that's, the logical answer. Those kids represent your feelings. The car is your life. The windy road is the challenge, the trauma, the experience, the stuckness. In truth, logically, yes. Keep your eyes focused on the destination. Is it hard? Yes. Is it easy? No. Can it be done though? Yes. So the thing is, working through with tools like therapy, mindfulness, some type of journaling practice, really having the discussion with yourself and analyzing, what do I want? What do I need to get in? What's gonna stop me if I allow it? How do I work through above or around it? Sometimes you just push your way through, sometimes you can't. Sometimes I need a plan A and a plan B, a plan C. So that's our strategy. If I know um, I want to lose weight, I feel insecure and depressed because of my weight, that depression demotivates me, which keeps me from exercising. That lack of makes exercise is guilty, ashamed, or embarrassed and gain more weight, which makes me want to lose weight, but makes me less likely to focus and go lose the weight because I still feel depressed, insecure, demotivated. All of this is because I feel. Can I go work out? Yes. Can I get a trainer? Yes. Can I eat better? Yes. And that's what depression, anxiety, everything is. Right? Yes, but what do people that utilize a therapist who is someone you pay, you go and you spend time with them, pour out your heart, discuss your feelings, let someone guide you. I think that's what for physical help, 
that's what physicians are for when you don't feel well you go see a doctor this is for, for your mental well-being well it's important to take care of your well-being so that your cup is full and so that the overflow can nourish and nurture your friend and your loved ones around you because if you have nothing internally left you have nothing to give so on that note jad here please go ahead so guys uh just if you see at the bottom of the screen if you go to my website you can live now.org there is a free audiobook and free mini course on learning to trust yourself that was one of my biggest struggles coming out of my grief journey was trusting my intuition again and that can be the same for a lot of other people so starting to build back who you are and and build back that confidence in yourself is going to be so important for your journey chat thank you for being on heart to heart with saima and uh, it was a pleasure and I wish you all the best. I wish you I I'm I'm sending these positive vibes your way so Thank that you so much. It was my pleasure. Find the healing that you're looking for. Yeah. Thank you for being a guest here. Awesome. Hey friends, um as always, um thank you for carving out the time to hear what was shared on today's podcast if this inspired you to take the next step in your journey then i want to invite you to join my email list by emailing vip@simadillon.com let's stay in touch so i can reach out to you once in a while you can respond back reach out to me let's become friends and of course if you know this podcast will help someone then let's help me change lives take 30 seconds to simply share the link to the podcast in a text or post it on social media and i'll be so grateful to you um in you helping me out have an awesome day and thank you for being here